Well, wouldn't you know it, Random Dad is back with you for the start of a new decade. It's day two of 2020. And I got a special, never before, well, no, they've been seen before, but it's been years. All right, so for this Random Dad, I'm going to show you some art that I made back in college. And so forgive me uh, for a little self-indulgence. Actually, it's not really self-indulgence so much as I'm making a... Uh, like a record of the artwork. So these are sculptures I made back in my college days. And I have them on Facebook Marketplace for sale. Very cheap. Anywhere from 10 bucks on the low ones to 25 for the most expensive one. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, here's some artwork I made like 20 some odd years ago. All right. Let's see. This one. This one is called Portrait of an Alcoholic. Made in uh, 2005. So... 15 years ago. Anyways, it's hard to see because, you know, the glass. Oh, look at that. We're looking at the, oh, the video within the, nice, man. That's cool. All right, let's see. Oh, there we go. So it's, <laughs> it's a bunch of beer bottles, and there's a picture of me in there in black and white, and it's all, uh, uh, it says cholesterol, triglycerides, HDL. Um, anyways, it was a, a stage of my life where I was at where it's not a good place, right? I was drinking too much, eating poorly. Anyways. This is a portrait of an alcoholic. If uh, you want to buy such an item, <laughs> $10. Hit me up. <laughs> I'll ship anywhere too, man. You know, if you want to pay shipping, we can do that. This one here is called Childhood's End. Whoa, that one's upside down. This is a clock. Uh, and inside the clock, we've got... Um, well, here, it'll be better if I open this one, right? If I can open this one. Come on, Mr. Clock. Oh, the, the time is stopped at 3.15. You see that? Because uh, Amityville Horror, right? Any horror fans out there? All right, man. There we go. I got it. So you open the clock, and it's called Childhood's End because inside is a beer bottle, a pack of smokes, a pill bottle, and a Spider-Man comic. Web of Spider-Man issue one. I ripped the cover off because I was probably, you know what? I probably made this one 2006. So these are not college. These are when I was teaching. These are the early years of me teaching. Oh, that's weird. Anyways, so... I used to drink too much, and these are other things I used to, you know, enjoy that I don't enjoy anymore. Anyways, this beautiful clock, and you can hang it on your wall and everything. This could be yours. It's called Child Childhood's End, a mere $15. I feel like I'm on, oh, it's like Antique Roadshow, only they're not antiques, and it's crap people aren't going to want to buy. Although I did sell one yesterday, which made me want to do this because I thought, wait a minute, I should have a record of my sculptures in case people do continue to buy these things. So the sculpture yesterday, it's gone. No record. This one's pretty cool. It's in a cigar box, right? A Don Lindo cigar box. And you open it up, and it's called In America, Anyone Can Be a Star. And there we got portraits, black and whites of serial killers. Down there we got Marilyn Manson. I used to be really big into Marilyn Manson. This thing's from 1998. So that one, well, that's 22 years old. Now this one is college, right? And then inside, so it's got a portrait of Marilyn Manson, uh, like a, uh, uh, yeah, I kind of collaged it together a little bit. And then it's got, this is your world in which we grow and we will grow to hate you. Let's see if we can't see that. There you go. On that uh, film negatives right there. Those of you who remember film negatives and, you know, some razor blades. Why not? Okay. That's another one. That's 10 bucks right there, man. That's super, that, that wouldn't cost anything to ship to you. You know, you could even, you know, comment down in the comments there and say, hey, man, I want that one, blah, blah, blah one. And we could we could work something out or just head over to Facebook Marketplace and uh, type in weird box sculpture. And this stuff will come up. I uh, update it every week. This I'm going to say this one for last. That one's that's my favorite right there. That one's 25 because it's really my favorite and I wouldn't be terribly. Anyways, uh, this one's called Greed. Whoa, and I almost broke it. Did you see that? <laughs> this was part of a Seven Deadly Sins sculpture series I was going to make. This is the only one I made because I was lazy. All right, so you open up the top. It used to it was a, um, a jewelry box. And on top, it's got a, a shattered mirror. Yeah, right? Oh, ah! My <laughs> finger, man! And then inside, it's got broken glass. And then it says, bow down, sell out, bow down, sell out. Let me Let me tilt that there for you so you can see a little better. And then inside each of those little things is that glass is going to fall out and cut me in it. Uh, coins, coins from around the world. So you close that. Then you open the bottom drawer here of this 
box and it's got something from I think that's what is that um not a Wall Street Journal what is that thing you know what they something to do with money I don't know <laughs> and then inside I'll oh, check that out man it's got rolled up money and it's got the uh the greed the green eyed monster right on a scaffold and it says greed will devour greed will consume and greed will destroy which is true right and then I got some Shakespeare thing here but man, proud man, dressed in little... Anyway, you can read that yourself. Go ahead, pause it if you want. So this sits right on here, right? And that slides back into the door. What's sweet about these box sculptures, this one and the Marilyn Manson one, they look so quiet and unassuming till you open them up. All right. And then this one's not a box sculpture. This is just a really cool uh, collage I made years ago. I got... 10 or 15 on this. I forget what. I think maybe 15. But it's framed. It's nice. It's cool. It's all in black and white. It's called uh, The Missing, right? So here. Try to... Till, ah, there we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. Okay, so there you go. And then last but certainly not least, this one I did in college for a student art show. An art teacher student art show. Uh, so it's metal box. You open it up. And on the inside, little green army men. And uh, it says... And the rocket's red glare, the bomb's bursting. Oh, you know, there you go. The bomb's bursting in air, gave proof through the night that the almighty government is right. So, <coughs> excuse me, you know how it is when you're in college and stuff and you're idealistic. And you got all these plans and stuff and, you know, I stick it to the man. I hate the government, blah, 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 blah. All right. I still don't trust the government, honestly, um, which you really shouldn't do. And then inside, it's got the slaughtered remains of a battlefield of Little Green Army Men. That's just Little Green Army Men in paint. And then the, the really cool part about this is I did this handmade book. Uh, the pages are put together with skewers and whatnot. It says, Welcome to the Meat Machine, which is the title of this piece. And inside, it's got kind of a spoof of the Lord is my shepherd, but it's the government is my shepherd. And so, you know, you've got dead bodies you've got black and white photos so this is a like collage with paint and you got pen in here so it's a book that i made uh it maketh me to lie down and fertilize foreign fields that leadeth me to certain death so it's like a not so much a spoof but like a um i don't know what would you call it like uh man, i don't know whatever you get the drift right and then, uh, oh, this is a sweet one right here. I got the army guys collaged, and the background is some part of a cadaver. I don't know. Anyway, so, you know, I was making the allusion, allusion to uh, the government grinding up soldiers and stuff. Surely misery and agony shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the prison of the government forever. So, oh, that's a sweet one right there. See that? So, you get this. This book fits right inside of the box here, right there. Uh, yeah, this one's my pride and joy. I love this one here. This is, this is a good one. I spent probably the most time on this, but so anyways, if you're interested in some weird art or you know somebody who's like, man, I know this weirdo who would dig that thing, hit me up, put a comment down there say, Hey man, contact me this way or whatever. And we'll hook up. Or like I said, go to Facebook marketplace and just type in weird box sculpture. And I have them all listed like that with different little titles to, you know, kind of differentiate them. Anyways, whatever. Uh, Happy New Year, people. Remember, till the next time we talk, be a decent human being. The world's got enough dirtbags.